Hey everybody, welcome back to Kelly's Creations. I'm so glad you're here. We're gonna have fun. Today's video is a collaboration with two of my best friends on YouTube. We are first checking out Mary Best channel, MB Gray Designs. And her channel is similar to mine. She just loves Dollar Tree DIYs, Trash to Treasures, trying new and different ideas and different ways of crafting and my other good friend is cindy's from mimi's mixed bag and mimi is just super talented oh my gosh she's so sweet i love her little accent and she is so talented so after my video head on over to mary vest channel and then head to cindy's because today we all did tiered tray easter ideas now as you guys can see if you've been around for a while big bertha's gone <laughs> i know you guys loved that tiered tray but it was so big oh my gosh so i ended up getting a different smaller tiered tray from marshall's which i absolutely adore and I started off just simple with a little hippity hoppity Easter sign, a little mini that I made, and my fake chocolate bunny, which I bring out every year because it looks so real. Just You just want to bite its ears off. And I just like kept this one simple. That's on the top. And then I have my favorite little plush bunny and that little chicky and the baby bunny and the bassinet is actually from my mom. The second tiered tray idea is just changing it up a little bit. That floral arrangement is from Big Lots. And these little beauties also are from my mother. Um, she moved and she asked me what I wanted and the only thing I asked for was all her bunnies. All her bunnies and her Easter stuff. Cause a lot of it she painted and I just had to have it. Here's another bunny from my mom. So these are like sentimental vintage items and that hippity Easter sign is just too cute to not use twice. So I thought I would put it on the bottom this time. And I have a little candle holder with some eggs and here's one of my favorite bunnies from my mom. I'm pretty sure she painted this one because ceramics were so huge back in the day. When I was younger, like she just loved painting ceramics and she's so talented and such a great artist and painter. Oh my goodness. She'll tell you otherwise, but my mom, it's got talent. Okay. She is very artistic and she is the type that can just look at a picture and recreate it, which is something I wish I could do. So tiered tray idea number three, another set of vintage bunnies. How cute are these? I think I tried to look these up, but I'm pretty sure it's like a Peter Cottontail collection and the colors and I just, oh, I adore these bunnies. This is the first year I've put them out because I just got them over the summer and yeah, I'm just playing around, grabbing different items from my house. I added a floral to the back. I put the little duck and bunny in like the candle stand for height. Just with tear trays, what's fun is just experimenting and switching it around until you get a look that you fall in love with. And you can even switch it around again in mid-season to create an all-new look. You can bring in items from your home. I mean, it's so easy to make a tear tray look good without spending a dime. And here I found this like pastel garland that I put around the wooden sign. And there's another one of my mother's bunnies. <laughs> yeah, I'm showcasing her bunnies a lot in this video because they are all different, unique, and so stinking cute. Oh my goodness, I love this one. And again, changed it up a little bit instead of having the stroller in the candle holder, I put some of those acrylic poured Easter eggs that I made last year. There's another little bunny that my mom painted. I'm just playing around with different looks and 
keeping maybe one tier simple and the next tier really full. Um, doing both tiers simple, just whatever style you like. That's what makes decorating a tier tray so much fun. I put the bunny on top this time and this time I grabbed my teal basket. That little ceramic basket I got from Goodwill, I think over the summer. I put my acrylic poured eggs in there and put the bunny on top this time. Like I said, just playing around with different settings. Now the bottom's a lot fuller. I added the chocolate bunny down below and that cute little thumper bunny. Doesn't it look like thumper from Bambi? Um, down below. Like I said, if you like minimalistic, you know, only add a few items. If you like it full and add a lot of items, <laughs> you can't go wrong with decorating tiered trays at all. So there's a few ideas. Now we're gonna get into the DIY portion. I'm gonna show you how to DIY a few items for your tiered tray. These peeps I found at Dollar General and didn't even read it. I just bought them because I liked that they were big, ginormous peeps. <laughs> Come to find out, it has little cookie cutters in it. It has dough, um, not dough that you can eat, Play-Doh. <laughs> and it's just a fun little item, I guess, to put in a child's Easter basket and that they could play with some cookie cutters and some Play-Doh. So I took all that out and I'm just gonna use these cute little um, and I went blank. We know what they are. Just by adding a little bit of ribbon to them and some bows just to dress them up. Peeps, that's what they are. These cute little peeps. Um, I'm really keeping it simple. I'm not painting it because I want the pink. I want the yellow. I'm just going to add just a little bit of ribbon and bows to make these pop. And these can be used on the cheer tray as well. The lacy ribbon and the very, very colorful ribbon both came from Dollar Tree, and so did the pink. I'm pretty sure the pink one did too, but I did the same ribbon on both, or the same bow on both, because to me, Easter is just colorful and fun and pastels, and I just thought that by adding some ribbon and bow to these peeps, it just brought them up a level and really made them stand out. Look how cute they are. Oh my gosh. I think peeps are adorable. I'm not necessarily love eating them, but I think they're super cute for Easter. Now, the second DIY is just taking this wolf sign that I had used in a previous DIY, so it was already painted purple. I took this decorative pink mesh from Dollar Tree that's so cute. Look at that. It's so sparkly. It almost looks like snow on it, but I thought that would be so cute to just tack some of it down to the side. <clears throat> I'm sorry, tack some of it down on either corner. <laughs> I lost my train of thought. And then, you know, trim the edges. And we're going to make a cute little bunny sign out of this. I opted to use hot glue because I knew, like, the middle part, I didn't really think you'd see the edges, but I knew the middle part would be covered. Plus, I really didn't think school glue would hold this. Then I went in my stash and I grabbed some of the, um, little remnant pieces that I buy from Walmart. I did this in a previous video, a bunny sign that I made as well. So I just flipped one of the Dollar Tree wooden bunnies over and traced on the back side of the fabric, cut it out. Then I used a glue um, stick to attach the fabric. And I just worked the top and then I came in and smoothed it down on the bottom so that you wouldn't even see where the fabric was folded. I love using fabric for projects and I just think it makes it stand out and pop. And this fabric is so affordable. They sell like dollar remnants at Walmart, but I think this was actually one of their $2.99 ones where you get just a little bit more fabric. So if you're doing a lot of projects that you know you're going to be using fabric for that's probably a better deal because you do get so much more 
So I just used my fingers and got rid of that fold and really pressed it down and voila, you have the cutest little bunny. I'm keeping this sign real simple. So I'm just gonna add that bunny, hot glue it down to the sign. And I think the mesh sparkly, it just makes the bunny pop. At first I was gonna like add a little log and have the bunny raised off the sign, but I really didn't think I needed to once I put the two together. Then I just grabbed a cotton ball and I kept pulling it apart, pulling it apart, rolling it in my hand, pulling it apart until I had a very, very cute little fluffy bunny butt. <laughs> then I just attached the bunny butt with hot glue and there you go. You got the cutest tiny little sign for your tiered tray. Another great item, of course, to decorate a tiered tray with is eggs. And I'm just, I didn't use all of these eggs. I used some of them. But I'm just showing you, like, there's so many different colors and styles of eggs that you can get at Dollar Tree. And for a dollar, oh my gosh, even if you didn't like the color, you can paint them. And they also have the carrots again this year, which this is the first year I've ever found them. So I was super excited. So I just wanted to show you guys that too. But what we're gonna do with this next one is, this is a sock from Dollar Tree in this really pretty blue, white, and peachy color pastel. And these are two signs I've had in my stash forever. They're actually Easter signs. I think they came from Dollar General. And they're really, really cute on their own. You wouldn't even have to do anything to these because they are that cute. I grabbed them, even though they're so cute, and like I said, you could use them just like they are, but I grabbed them because they were the right size, okay? And I took the handles off, and I'm just gonna show you something really neat that you can do. Take a sock and put your sign in the sock. Once it stretches out, okay, and you just kind of maneuver it a little bit and get it exactly the way you want it, all right? But once it goes around that sign and it stretches out, it looks like a painted Easter egg, which I think is so cute because you have the texture from the sock. You have, look at that, it looks like an Easter egg. And I just wanted to show you something different. What's neat about this is, Fold over the excess, tape it, and you're not wasting anything and I'm losing my voice. All right, I'm back. I keep having to stop the voiceover because I keep losing my voice. Anyway, you fold it over, tape it on the back, and nothing is ruined. After Easter, you can pull the sock right off of it in case you want to use these just the way they are or if you wanna use it for another project. The sock wasn't ruined and the sign wasn't ruined. And you get this really, really cute textured Easter egg and using a sock and a sign. So I just thought that this would be fun to show you guys maybe a different technique. Um, you could even paint these signs for another holiday and just buy a pair of socks and put it over that sign and voila, you got a sign for two holidays. <laughs> And if you put them together, you got a really cute thicker sign. So yeah, it's it's just neat. Dollar Tree sells these socks all the time and they always have them in different colors. So I'm sure your Dollar Tree will carry something like this. Maybe if not this pattern, um, some kind of striped colorful pattern that you could use for Easter. So on to the next DIY. This is using one of their foam bunnies. Now, this is also this yarn that I bought probably a couple of years ago from Dollar Tree. And it had, it's like the Chanel yarn and it has pom-poms on it. And once you take it out of the package, it just gets all twisted and yeah, <laughs> it drives me nuts, but it's such a great yarn. <laughs> so all I did was start with a dollop of hot glue and I wrapped the bunny. And I wrapped the body going in one direction, then I came in, I wrapped the head going a different direction, and then I came in and I wrapped the ears going a different direction. And I just think that it kinda dis distinguishes 
the body from the head from the ears go in different directions what's great about this chanel yarn is if you have a little bit of a gap it's easily just take a little piece of the yarn put some hot glue fill in your gap cut it off you don't even know that it was a fill in it just blends so nice and it's so much softer than the regular thinner yarn that Dollar Tree sells. And last time I checked, my Dollar Tree still had this. So they're still selling it where I am. Hopefully they're selling it where you are too. But like I said, it's just so easy to just come in and patch up little places where the white's still showing and it covers really well. And it mimics a plush bunny. And since it already came with these pom-poms, I didn't even have to make a bunny butt. I just used the existing little pom-pom that's on the Chanel yarn and glued it to the bunny butt. And look at how stinking cute. It looks like a plush bunny, but it isn't. <laughs> it's just super cute. Another DIY that you can do is using one of those pumpkin signs if you have one left over from Halloween or fall. I just took off the bow and I took off the stem and I loved the color as it was. So I didn't even fool around with trying to get the sticker off, even though I could have used my heat gun and it would have came off, but I was being lazy, still getting over a cold, <laughs> still a little lazy. So I left my sticker on there because I knew I was covering it. And then Dollar Tree sells these packs of Easter eggs. And I used ribbon, ribbon and a glue stick. And I just kind of decorated each of the Easter eggs. So it's kind of fun. It's kind of like an adult way to decorate an Easter egg. <laughs> and I use the same colors, but I use them different ways on one of the egg. Two of the eggs, I think I tried to stay within the same pattern of what I was doing. And then the middle egg, I just did it different. So that's all you have to do here. And it's so much fun. Grab your favorite ribbon and just start decorating your eggs. So I will be showing you how I style the tear tray with these DIYs at the end. And I am using the same three ribbons that I used at the beginning of the set of DIYs on those two bunnies. So that when I put them together on the tear tray, it kind of coincides with each other. You don't have to do that. You can make this your own. Do it. Use any kind of ribbon you want, any colors. I just thought it would be fun to kind of stay within, you know, the same colors that I use for the bows on the bunnies. Plus, I absolutely love that colorful ribbon from Dollar Tree. I think it's called Llama. And I use a glue stick for some of it. For some of it, I used hot glue. So then I just came in with the, my hot glue and I placed these kind of kitty corner and lined up as you can see you can see where it the lines actually line up together and added some hot glue down and I glued two kitty corner then I came in with that third egg that actually has a different style these two were done the same the third one was different and I put that in the middle and it's just a really cute Easter egg kind of stand sign because this stands up and it's great for like background for your tear tray or a filler for your tear tray. Just a real cute little egg sign. My last little DIY idea is going to be using these cute little chickadees that I found from Big Lots. And I got a multicolored pack and then I got a, just a yellow little chickadees pack. And I was going to use lights as well, but silly me, I don't know why I thought this, I thought they were battery operated. No, you got to plug them in. And I don't have a way to plug these in, but Big Lots does sell some really pretty pastel lights if you have a way to plug them in. So what we're going to do is using just the bottoms of the eggs from Dollar Tree, and I wanted to use like the metallic shiny eggs. So I grabbed three of the different colors and we're just using the bottoms. Now we're gonna make a little egg 
I don't know, holder for my little chickadees, okay? I don't think I used the green. I think I stopped with yellow and blue and pink. Then I grabbed buttons, and Dollar Tree sells those too. But I grabbed coinciding colors for my eggs, and I'm just gonna glue the button down to the bottom of the egg because that's gonna help it stand up straight. Without the button on the bottom, then our egg would be rolling all over our tray and our chickens would be flying out everywhere. So the buttons are basically being used as a base to keep the egg upright. And then all you gotta do is grab some moss and your little chickadees and fill up those eggs. And these are so cute on a tear tray. Oh my gosh. Having them in an Easter egg, they're so adorable. I think you get two for six of them for $3. So if you have a big lots near you, check it out. They have some really, really cute Easter duck decor this year. Oh my gosh, I probably should have filmed inside Big Lots, but this is just a really cute way to add something different to your tiered tray. These chickens are so cute. Oh my gosh. And there is how they look all together in their little eggs and they stand upright and you can put them on that tray. So here's a look at the tiered tray with the DIYs. I put those sock eggs behind, I put my sign in front, I put the little chickadees to either side. And I added some eggs, I added that strand of little pastel lights that I have no idea where I got it from, they're not real. <laughs> And then coming down, you got the bunnies and the egg sign and some carrots and some more Easter eggs. This is just a very colorful, very bold, um, mixing the pastels and the boldness of the two bunnies below really just pops. And then if you want a different idea with this, I went back and I grabbed that floral that I got from Big Lots and I switched it up a little bit and I added the bunnies with the chickens. I put the eggs behind it. Like I said, I made that egg sign kind of like a background, you know. Um, it's super cute to put in the forefront too, but my intention for it was for it to be in the background is like a filler sign. And then on the bottom, I did my hippity Easter with some carrots in that gorgeous little plush bunny sitting on the sock eggs and real simple but so cute and you have your pastel on softness on the bottom kind of more vibrant on the top or you could switch this up and do it the opposite way that would be cute as well I have my little dough bowl next to it, decorated for Easter as well with some Spanish moss and some eggs and carrots and just to tie it all together on my buffet. I'm so sorry I talked so fast during this video, but I am getting over a cold and it was really hard to not cough <laughs> during the voiceover. So I hope you enjoyed this tiered tray idea. Don't forget to go to Mary Beth and Cindy's channels and check out their ideas. I'm headed there right now to see what they made. Have a blessed and most wonderful week, everybody, and I'll see you next week. Love you. Bye, y'all.